Yeah, Steve, we have covered our fair share of incidents here in and around Moore Square. And look, the city hired private security to deal with these sorts of things to prevent crimes before they happen. Tonight, we're taking the pulse of this neighborhood before this neighborhood shows off to the whole region Sunday night. It's, it's a safe place. Um, we Great food, great music. Shilpa Shelton couldn't wait to get out of her Uber here on Blunt Street to head into the poorhouse to listen to some music. She's even more excited her daughter Mia is home for the holidays. I came home for kind of Christmas slash New Year's. Um, I'm just a student, grad student at UPenn, so I wanted to visit the fam. This whole family, among others, packing a Friday night in downtown Raleigh, just steps from where gunshots whizzed across the street this afternoon. If you're used to a city, there's always going to be fun parts and you know, sometimes not so fun. We were there as Raleigh police put up yellow crime scene tape on Blunt Street near Woody's at City Market. I saw the police SUVs and, and a little bit of tape from the distance. Tracy Taylor saw it on his way in to to work at Decree, a local stationery store at the corner of Blunt and Martin Streets. Sometimes uh, things happen downtown here and uh, usually there's a, a pretty quick uh, explanation and, uh, and quick police response. The response today was quick. The explanation not as extensive. RPD said someone took out a gun and started firing shots right here in front of City Market. No one was hurt and no buildings were hit either. Overall, downtown Raleigh is a it's it's a pretty safe place. Tracy wouldn't trade the experience of downtown for anything else, and they've noticed the enhanced security in the neighborhood. And over the holiday season, we've seen you know a lot of people coming and exploring downtown, enjoying themselves. The Sheldon's staying home for New Year's, but making the most of the family time tonight. It's a you know nice time for some family time and some good music and getting out in this you know town. We have also pressed the RPD tonight for who they're looking for, a description maybe of the person they're looking for or the car. They have not responded to our emails just yet about that. Stephen Bianco, we've also this week been talking to the RPD about their security plans for big events, especially the ones like first night. They don't talk specifics about plans, but you better believe it's going to be an all hands on deck situation here, not just on Blunt Street, but on Fayetteville Street all around downtown Sunday night. Back to you guys.